here we're combining like terms. So I have 7b minus a 4b plus a 3. So our b's are the same. If I have 7b minus a 4b, that gives me 3b. I still have plus 3. I can't combine those together because they're not the same. Therefore, I get choice A. Number two, we have a 9x minus an x minus a 2x minus an x. So let's write this out. 9x minus x minus a 2x minus an x. Now if there's no number in front of these x's, we know there's a 1. So these have all x's, so I can combine all of them. A 9x minus a 1x is an 8x bringing everything else down. An 8x minus a 2x is a 6x. And lastly, 6x minus a 1x is a 5x. So we get choice B. Number 3. We have 7x minus 4 plus 2x plus 8. So we combine our like terms. We have a 7x here and a positive 2x. A 7x and a positive 2x gives me a 9x. Then we have a negative 4 and a positive 8. A negative 4 and a positive 8 gives me a positive 4 when I combine them together. I can't combine them anymore, therefore we get 9x plus 4 as our answer. Okay, lastly, number 4 here. We have 6a minus a 2a minus an a minus a 9. Remember, if there's no number there, it's like a 1. So I'm going to combine all these a's. A 6a minus a 2a is a 4a. I still have this minus a 1a. So 4a minus a 1a is a 3a. And then I can't combine this with anything else. So I have a minus a 9. So my answer is 3a minus 9, which is choice A.